there is absolutely nothing that you can do to make your hair grow faster. Your hair is not going to be growing if you're on that hot Cheeto and honey bun diet. <laughs> you have to have some sort of water. Clean your scalp. You need to have your hair in protective styles. This is a protective style. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Christian. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the real secret to fast natural hair growth. We are going to be going over all of my tips that helped me grow my hair to waist length. And I'm also going to be giving you all tips on length retention, moisture retention, and everything you need to know to grow your natural hair healthy and long. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to know about growing your natural hair long is that there is absolutely nothing that you can do to make your hair grow faster. Your hair already is going to grow a certain amount each month that is already predetermined and you can't do anything to change that. You can take biotin and you can take certain vitamins and certain supplements that will assist you with actually growing your hair faster or um, speeding up that process but there is nothing that you can do and there are absolutely no products that you can use that will actually speed up the process of your hair growing. Um, there are actual phases of hair growth. So I just wanna make that important point, number one, that there is nothing that you can do topically that will change the rate of your hair growth. I posted a video titled, How to Grow Long Natural Hair Fast, and one of the most repeated comment in that video was what products do I use and to be honest with you guys I don't stick to one product I honestly rotate find a product that I like use it for a couple of months and then see what else is on the market try another product use it for a couple of months I don't really stick to one product because I know that it's not about products it's about application method what type of products should you be using in order to promote hair growth you should be using products that encourage moisture retention so you want to look at your products and you want to make sure that the first ingredient is always water Water is the best thing for your hair. So when you're looking at the store and you're looking for new hair products, always look at the ingredient list and make sure that the first ingredient is always water. If you happen to find somebody on YouTube that has the same curl pattern as you and the same porosity, you might not have to experiment, but unfortunately the only way to find out what products work for you is to practice trial and error but you can research on YouTube to see if anybody that once again has your curl pattern or porosity and see if they have had good results with that particular product before you buy it so the third secret to fast natural hair growth is to clean your scalp <laughs> now I've heard a lot of people say that their hair grows when it's dirty now since we've already discussed the fact that there's nothing that you can do topically that will influence what's going on on the inside your hair follicles that is not true your hair is going to grow as long as you're healthy and you don't have any health conditions that are preventing your hair from growing your hair is going to grow but it is important to have a clean scalp because a lot of people don't know that if your scalp isn't clean, your hair follicles will not have the oxygen they need to thrive. So please make sure that you are cleansing your scalp on a basis that works for you. Me personally, I wash my hair once a week. Um, if you're super active, you might have to do it more. If you're less active and your scalp can take it, you might be able to do once every two weeks. 
once every three weeks or once a month but please cleanse your scalp on a routine basis and to add to that point you should also be clarifying your hair every now and then i do understand that you should only be adding the shampoo to your roots but every now and then you might want to clarify your hair especially if you're using products like eco styler gel or any type of gel um, you should definitely be clarifying the length of your hair as well as your scalp so the next thing we're going to discuss is diet your hair is not going to be growing if you're on that hot cheeto and honey bun diet <laughs> you have to have some sort of water you have to have some sort of vegetables you just avoid processed foods as much as possible honestly a lot of people that are complaining about hair growth i feel like you should really look into your diet because if you don't know anything about nutrition your body takes in the nutrition and it feeds like all of your organs first and then it goes to like your hair and nails so your hair and nails are the absolute last things in and on your body to get the nutrients from the food that you eat so if you're not getting any nutrients at all <laughs> we have a problem <laughs> but yes i definitely would recommend that you look into your diet like i said in the first point take supplements take vitamins if you need to but please evaluate your diet and make sure you're drinking enough water so that you can see the growth in addition to taking care of your hair. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to discuss is breakage. So you hear a lot about a lot of women being stuck at shoulder length. Breakage can happen when you have in protective styles that are damaging, if you're trying to do your hair when you're in a rush, if you're not styling your hair when it's in section, all of these things can lead to breakage. So in order to avoid breakage, you should be washing your hair in sections. You should be getting protective styles that actually benefit your hair and don't break it off. And you should just overall be babying your ends, putting lots of oil on your ends. We're gonna talk about trims later, so I won't say get trims, but in order to avoid breakage, the number one thing that you can do to grow your hair is to keep your hair off of your clothes. So this means if your hair is shoulder length or longer, you need to have your hair in protective styles. This is a protective style. My hair is definitely off of my shoulders. It's not touching my shoulders. My ends are protected. These are the types of things that you want to be doing if you want to avoid breakage. So the next tip is to deep condition frequently. I personally deep condition once a week every Sunday and I even have a whole segment on my channel where I deep condition and chat with you all. So go check some of those videos out. But deep conditioning has honestly changed my hair so much. I've noticed a difference in elasticity. I've noticed a difference with length retention. I've noticed a difference with curl definition. I've noticed a difference with the shine of my hair. I've noticed a difference in the way that my hair takes products. So start deep conditioning more frequently and come let me know how your hair is doing. So the next thing that we're going to discuss is protein treatments. So in addition to deep conditioning treatments, you should also be balancing out your deep conditioning treatments with protein treatments. Now, according to your porosity, your hair may be able to handle different levels of protein. So just be aware that you should be doing some type of protein treatment, but just pay attention to your hair and make sure that you are balancing the deep conditioning and the protein treatments because you don't want to get moisture overload, but you also don't want to get protein overload. You want to have an equal balance of both. Okay, so the next point we are going to discuss is low manipulation. When I first started going on my natural hair journey, this was a big, big issue for me. 
I had a problem with touching my hair and I wanted to experiment and I wanted to style my hair every day in a different style and I feel like this is why I didn't see that much growth in the beginning of my natural hair journey. So if you want your hair to grow, the best thing that I would recommend for you to do is to moisturize it and then leave it alone. So back when my hair was waist length, I would braid my hair on Sundays, go through the whole week. If I needed to re-moisturize my hair, I would do that, but then I wouldn't touch my hair again until the following Sunday when it was time to do those braids again. So the secret to fast natural hair growth is to leave your hair alone. So the next thing we're going to discuss is patience. I've said this in multiple videos, but I used to be that person that was in the mirror with a ruler, just attempting to measure my hair and see if my hair grew an inch from yesterday, which is so unrealistic. So don't get caught up in how your hair is looking or how long it is in the moment. Just know that if you are doing all of these tips, your hair will be growing. The next thing we are going to discuss is creating your own natural hair routine. A lot of people try to ask questions about what I use and what I use may not work for you. Unfortunately, it took me a couple of years to get to this routine and now that I have my routine, I just stick to it and I know that it works for me. So the best thing that you can do is schedule out time out of the week and just know that that day is going to be your hair day. And don't try to follow anybody else's routine, just stick to yours. Um, I do have a video coming very, very soon on how to actually build a natural hair regimen that works for you. So let me know if you are looking forward to that video so I can get it out quickly. Um, if you're still watching this video and you feel like you gained something helpful from this video, please comment a red heart so I know to do more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Dummies, subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.